Welcome back guys, today we'll look at paper 22 of the February March 2024 series. Now actually in this series there is only one paper, alright just paper 22. So it says a linear search and bubble sort are standard methods of solution. 50 numbers are already stored in the array values uh, with the start index 1 and end index 50. We need to write an algorithm in pseudocode to input a number, right this will be the variable my number, and use a linear search to test if that number is stored in the array. If the number is found in the array, the position in the array is output. However, if the number is not found in the array, they're not found as output. Okay, so I think the way we can do that, uh, I mean, basically, well, we need a loop, right, to, you know, loop through every element in the array. Um, and, well, the thing is, we have to think, right, if we find it, then we want to stop looping. So for that, we can have some kind of flag, uh, maybe let's call it found. Okay, so we set flag to false, or, well, we set found to false. And then, yeah, if we do find it, um, and that's checking, you know, if the current index, or let's say if the uh, values, uh, and then, you know, at the current index is equal to this my number. Well, yeah, then we output, we set found to true. Um, right, the other condition is, well, we only want to loop while the index is less than or equal to 50. Um, and yeah, the index is just, I uh, kind of, uh, I mean, let's say, you know, the loop index, right, the loop counter. Um, yeah, and then I think what we can do, and then, well, if we loop through all the elements and, you know, found is still false, well, that's when we output this not found. Okay, so, yeah, let's just try and do this, uh, see if I can do it without making any mistakes. Right, so first thing we want to declare, uh, let's just go found, and this will be a boolean. Right, the next one, well, we're also going to want index, right, this will be integer. Now, if we initialize them, again, we can say found, uh, this is going to be false. Right, and then index, well, let's let's start this at 1, okay, because, I, well, you know, index 1 in the array. Um, right, then what we want to do, uh, first I guess we want to input into this my number. So let's just give them a message. Uh, let's see, yeah, maybe enter number to search, or maybe enter num, uh, yeah, maybe enter number to find. Um, right, let's go input, and this will be my number. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, right, okay, and then, yeah, I think here then, let's just have the while loop. So we'll just go while found equals false. Uh, right, and then also and index is less than or equal to 50. Right, and then while this do is optional, um, I think in the syllabus they don't have it anymore, but I think I did see even in the 2022 paper they actually did use it. Um, but, I mean, honestly, you know, if you have it, if you don't have it, um, yeah, I mean, it, you know, it really doesn't matter. Right, so what do we want to do here then? Um, I mean, we just want to check if the current element is equal to this my number. So the way we can do that is we just go if, right, this will be values and then at the, well, you're yeah, at this index. And if this is equal to my number, well, first what we would do, we, uh, we just want to output this index, right? Because, I mean, the question tells us, yeah, output the position of the element that we find, uh, right? Then we also want to set the found uh, to true because, well, when we set this to true, right, of course, you know, the next time it's going to stop looping. Um, yeah, I think then let's just go end if, right, let's also remember to increment this index, right, because, well, this is honestly a mistake I always make with these while loops. Um, yeah, same with a repeat until. Now, that's generally why I prefer using the for loop, you know, if we know how many times to loop, um, because, you know, then we don't have to remember to do this increment. Uh, you know, it's going to automatically increment for us. But the problem with this, well, here we don't know how many times to loop because maybe we search 63 and of course we find it the first time. Um, yeah, or we search, uh, I don't know, maybe 99, and let's say 99 doesn't exist. Right, of course, well then we search 50. Um, and yeah, like uh, obviously, well, uh, you know, we still don't find it. Right, so here then let's just go if, because, well, if we've searched the entire array and found is still false, well then that's where we just want to output the error message. Um, so yeah, here's just what not found. Um, okay, so hopefully that's fine. I mean, let's test it. So let's go 64, and this should say index 4, right, if there's no mistakes. Um, okay, yes, yeah, so this seems to work. I mean, let's try 99, because I don't think there's a 99. Uh, yeah, okay, so this has not found. And let's also try 4. Um, and I mean, no, right, if, if we have multiple 4s, then it's, it's only going to say the first one. So actually, yeah, I think here there is another four. Uh, in fact, actually, there's well another four here as well. Um, so let's try this. 
Uh, yeah, that says position 18. Now, I mean, let's make this maybe 94, right? This one, 94. Right, and now let's try again. Hopefully, it should say 50. Um, yeah, okay. All right, guys, so this seems to work, and then we'll move on to the next uh, the next question, which will be bubble sort. Okay, so as mentioned then, uh, part B is just going to be bubble sort. And notice here, well, it says ascending order, right? But it doesn't say efficient bubble sort. Now, because this is only four marks, right, we probably don't have to do the two optimizations that they sometimes ask for. Um, although, yeah, for this case, I will show you those optimizations as well. Right, so, I mean, I don't want this video to go on too long, but basically the first optimization is, well, if we think, uh, here we've got 50 elements. Now, the first time we need to loop to 49, because what we do is, well, we compare n. So, right, let's say n is, you know, 49. Um, I mean, yeah, let's just say, uh, hang on. Right, let's say n is going to be 49 like this, right? And then, well, then we compare it with n plus 1, right? And of course, well, n plus 1 is going to be 50. Um, but then the thing is, right after this, well, the biggest element is then going to be moved to this position after the first pass, which I think if we look at this, I think there's a 98. Um, yeah, we can see here. Right, so, you know, after the first iteration, well, there's going to be a 98 in this end position. Uh, so what that means is, well, the next time we don't have to loop to 49, okay, we only have to loop to 48, because then we, uh, you know, then we just compare 48 and 49 at the end. Um, so that's one optimization that kind of each iteration we have to compare one less element, uh, because, uh, you, know, you know, kind of the elements like from the right, they get sorted each time. Um, the next optimization is that, well, if it's sorted, then we can just uh, stop, right? So in order to do that, well, I mean, the first one, let's call it end index. Um, and again, this will start at 49, right? The next one, uh, let's call it did swap, and this will be a Boolean, right? So here, the end index, well, like, uh, like I mentioned, this starts at 49, and let's say did swap, uh, yeah, let's say this will be true, because what we'll do is, well, we'll keep looping while did swap equals true. Uh, right, so yeah, while this equals true, uh, again, I'm going to go do, let's go end while. Um, and I mean, yeah, so here, I guess, I mean, I, I guess here we can just use a for loop. Right, so we'll just go uh, maybe index, or yeah, position. Okay, so this will start at one, right, the first element here. Um, and then we're just going to go to the end index like this. Uh, right, I'm going to go next index, right, just so I don't forget. Um, and then what we want to do, well, we just want to check if the current element is bigger than the next element. So in order to do that, we just go uh, right if values, and then this is index, right? If this is greater than values, uh, and then just index plus one. Um, right, okay, so yeah, then uh, let's just go end if. Right, I mean, the, the first thing we want to do, uh, let's just set this did swap to true. And I do realize I have actually forgot something. Right, so each time inside the while loop, uh, we do want to set this did swap to false. Okay, because what we're saying is, I mean, we're kind of like assuming that it's sorted. And then if we find that it's not sorted, well, then we set this did swap to true. But of course, you know, like if this is always false, well, then this did swap is never going to become true. Uh, you know, it's, it's going to stay false. Right, and then of course, the next uh, sort of the next iteration of the loop. Um, well, this did swap is going to be false, right? So obviously the loop is going to exit. Um, so what we then want to do, I mean, we just need a temporary variable. And if we think, well, these are going to be integers. So let's go temp, right? This will be an integer. Um, now here then what we want to do, uh, we want to assign the index n to the temp. So if we just go temp, right, this will be values, uh, then index, uh, not index n, sorry. Yeah, this index. Um, Right, and then what we can do, uh, let's copy n plus one right into this index, or you know, index plus one right into this index. Uh, so this will be values index, and here then we're just going to go values, and this will be index plus one. Um, and then what we want to do here, this will be values. Uh, this is then well index plus one, and then here we're going to uh, put the temp. Right, and then I think just one more thing we need to do uh, after the for loop. So this is after we've looped through, you know, comparing element one with element two, uh, element three, element four. Uh, sorry, yeah, okay, sorry, right, element one and two, two and three, three and four, uh, etc. 
um, right after we've done that, then we just want to decrement this end index. Uh, okay, and again, the reason for that is because, well, the first time we have to go right up to 49 and 50, but then, you know, the next time we only compare 48 and 49, uh, then, of course, you know, 47 and 48, um, and, yeah, kind of so on. Right, so, I mean, hopefully that should work. Now, I mean, for the exam question, this should be all you need, but just so we can test it, right, uh, maybe let's just add, a, you know, some comments just to separate this. Um, you know, this next part is not going to be for the exam, but let's just test it to see if it works. So the way we can do that, uh, let's just go N, right, this will start at 1, uh, then we'll go 250 because there's 50 elements, right, then we just output, uh, this will be values index N, and right, let's go next N like this, and yeah, I think I've removed all the outputs, all right, so hopefully this will be sorted, all right, if there's no mistakes. Um, yeah, okay, so yeah, guys, I think this works. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense. And well, as always, um, you know, if you well, if you got any questions, right, ask in YouTube. Uh, yeah, maybe ask in the IG Discord group. And see you in the next video.